Okay, so here we're going to connect the teach pendant to the robot and power on the robot. So this is the cable for the teach pendant. And if you look carefully at it, you'll see that it has some splines or keys. It's keyed in there so that it'll only go into the teach pendant one way. The teach pendant should be within the drawer. We'll take the teach pendant out. You'll see the connector here on the left bottom as we face the teach pendant. And so what we want to do is take the cable and just twist the cable just a little bit as we put it up against there. And when the splines are lined up, it'll start to slide in. Then turn the, the nut, the thumb nut on here, turn that in a little bit, and then push in the cable a little further. Then the nut will turn in. Then push it in a little bit more, and the nut turns some more. And just do that about four or five times till it's firm. Don't make it real tight. It doesn't have to be extremely tight, just firm. So make sure it's got a firm connection there. And is all the way in. And then we're going to go down here underneath the cabinet. We'll pop open the doors of the cabinet. And then there is a yellow power strip. We'll turn on the power strip, and then here is the controller, and we will turn the controller switch to on. Now on the 30IA controller as we have here, it's just a up-down toggle switch. On the 30IB controllers, it's actually a rotating lockout tag uh, switch, but uh, that's really the only difference there. All right, so once you do that, the uh, teach pendant will power on and it'll come up, it'll have a boot screen, and then it'll come up to the last screen it was at once it's fully booted. To shut it off, go back down to the controller, turn the controller off, and then you can power off the power strip. Okay, there is an air compressor here. The air compressor, if it's turned on, uh, will automatically dump the air out when you turn off that power strip. So it may make some noise. So uh, right now the uh, air compressor was actually turned off. So if, if you're using the vacuum gripper or the finger grippers, you'll need air. And so you would turn that air compressor on to make sure you have air.